Hello, welcome to the Salon InfoTel. In this video, you will see uh, how to install and configure the module uh, Shopify Odoo Connector. So for that, firstly, we will need to go to the apps to install the module. So I'll go to the apps and I'll type Shopify Odoo Connector. Yeah, so you will see this uh, particular module over here. Uh, it's currently installed in my instance, so uh, I'll directly go to the configuration part. But you will need to click here install before using this module. So I'll go to the home page and after installing you will see uh, this particular uh, module icon in the under the name of Shopify. So I'll click that. So yeah, uh, this is the dashboard of the module and here is the menu bar. I'll uh, one by one show you what are the features. But uh, before that uh, we will need to uh, configure this instance. So for that uh, I'll go to the settings. And under the settings, there will be Shopify over here. And you can also create uh, an instance, a new Shopify instance, by clicking on this button. So you will need to add all the details like name, host, uh, the company for which you want to add this uh, instance, the API key, password, and the secret key provided from the Shopify. Uh, there is already one instance uh, uh, configured in my uh, this Odoo instance. So I'll uh, let you uh, walk through it, uh, the features of it. So yeah, uh, for that you will see this uh, general configuration. So this will be the default warehouse which you want to select. Furthermore, uh, there is the webhook configuration. If you want to add the webhooks from Shopify to Odoo, you can enable it for the products, orders, and the customers. The order configuration contains, uh, you can add the particular order prefix, or you can also use the default uh, Odoo sequences that are provided. There, uh, there is a particular tax which you can give to the uh, import order status from Shopify to Odoo. And also you can select uh, the, the gift card configuration uh, which will be created automatically onto Odoo for the sales order uh, gift card attached from the Shopify. Uh, this will be the uh, first uh, import date. Uh, after, after this date, all the orders will be imported onto this uh, instance. So you can uh, change it. Going down, we have a product configuration. So for that, uh, you can uh, uh, enable this uh, boolean to automatically create the products if they are not in the Odoo instance. So any product that is uh, uh, that came from Shopify onto the Odoo and it is not in the Odoo instance, it will automatically create. And enabling, enabling it will add, uh, let you have the images and the description of the, that particular product. Furthermore, there is text configuration. You can uh, select uh, uh, whichever you want. That, uh, if there are not uh, text configuration already available, you can create a new. And if it, uh, if you want to choose the default Odoo text behavior, then for the stock information, you can uh, choose uh, any of these uh, default uh, uh, routes. And for the each of the uh, details, you can you can uh, mention the last date of import. So whether it be import of the unship orders or shipped orders, customers, uh, updated stocks, import products or payment reports. This feature allows you to notify the customers when the order is updated. And you can also uh, enable it and uh, as assign the default responsible user for the scheduled activities. So yeah, uh, these are the features for the configuration. Uh, furthermore, we will move to the features of the module so for that you will need to go to this uh, particular uh, module icon in the under the shopify module you can see here multiple uh, uh, fields of in the menu bar so for that firstly we will need to configure the uh, configure uh, multiple things like let's say sales auto, auto workflow so there will be default auto workflow uh, configured over here mm -hmm. you can edit and add all the details up and mention the 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 default debit method, the payment journal, and the sales journal. And also, you can uh, uh, configure the shipping policies. You can also add uh, multiple uh, uh, sales auto workflow uh, under this. So, after that, uh, we will need to go to the payment gateway. So, these are the default payment gateway uh, configured from Shopify to Odoo. You can also add uh, a couple of others uh, if they are needed. So you will just need to add the name for your reference, the instance for which you want to provide and the code entered from the Shopify. Next is the financial status. 
in the financial status uh, you can see there are multiple financial status for each of the payment gateways so there were four payment gateways let me uh, group by and uh, let, let you have an easier, easier loop so yeah you can see here that uh, there are a uh, multiple financial status for each of the uh, automatic workflows you can also uh, create uh, more uh, if it is needed by here uh, clicking on here Furthermore, we will configure the Shopify locations. So this is the default Shopify location. Going further, you can uh, edit it and uh, configure this detail. So this will be the default warehouse uh, you want to select. Apart from that, uh, you can select that this is the primary location and the export stock. You can add uh, multiple warehouse over here. Uh, fr from which you can export stock into the Shopify. Or uh, here you can select uh, one default warehouse from which the Shopify product uh, level will be updated onto this particular Odoo warehouse. Okay. Furthermore, uh, we can go to the configuration of the instance. So here uh, there will be list of the multiple Shopify instance, but currently as it is only one in my case, uh, there will be one at, uh, line here. I'll go into it and I can configure all the details like uh, uh, you can see the details of the api key password and the secret key over here and you can enable this uh, meta mapping boolean after enabling it you can see this particular field over here and you can add the meta mapping from the shopify and the odoo to uh, sync data uh, for the uh, custom fields for that you can select the odoo models for which you want to add the um, keys and then uh, you can select the shopify meta key this you will get from the shopify itself and then this is the fields uh, within the Odoo and you can also select the data type of it. So you can add multiple uh, uh, lines over here and add uh, as, much, as much as key you want. After that, uh, uh, here is the button for the uh, auto scheduling of the cron jobs. So yeah, you can, uh, you know, uh, enable it for the import of products and you can uh, set it up for like you want to uh, sync uh, product, sync orders every one minute or as per your convenience you can see here that there are hours days weeks and months so for each of the fields you can uh, uh, decide this uh, uh, scheduling jobs okay. furthermore moving on uh, to this uh, module you can see here the uh, the reporting of the sales like quotation and risky quotation so you can see also see that whether this particular order has been already updated on to the shopify or not there are a couple of other uh, quick uh, accessible uh, fields where you can directly check on to the uh, particular orders so like there is a, if, if, there is, if there is any re uh, refund orders or not you can also get the name of the customers uh, this particular button is to let you manually uh, trigger the uh, data sync so let's say the particular operation you want is the import products and furthermore you can also select uh, you will need to mention the instance and the default dates uh, from or to dates so this these are the uh, this will manually trigger the data sync from uh, odoo and shopify and there are part, uh, multiple uh, operations that can be performed via this manual operation syncing this will help you to get all uh, the details of all the logs whether it is in draft failed or done done state and uh, you can also check the log lines uh, to check uh, whether which uh, which particular data sync uh, has failed in order to make both the systems at the same page furthermore there is a, a separate for a separate for the re, uh, reporting of the sales uh, entered uh, which is being transacted from odoo and shopify so yeah that's all are the basic features of the odoo and uh, shopify connector Furthermore, if there is any uh, additional uh, query that you have, you can di directly click on this help button and reach out to us. So yeah, uh, this is uh, how this module works. If there is any uh, doubt, you can definitely reach out to us via email. Uh, we would be happy to help. You can download this module from the link in the description. It will redirect, redirect you to the Odoo App Store. Thanks. Mm -hmm.